Welcome to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube history. This is the Dynamic Sean's View Entertainment right here on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe with breaking news as it concerns a big match announced for Raw. Not only has it been announced that John Cena is going to return because that's what the WWE touted yesterday, even though John Cena's only been gone one week, but if he's gone for one week, it's almost like he was gone for a year with the way the WWE built him up. But anyways, the international edition of WWE SmackDown has already aired overseas, and WWE has announced a big match for Raw next week with possible Survivor Series impl implications. John Cena will go one-on-one -on -one with Ryback, and that is being advertised for next week's show, which will take place from Liverpool, England. Now, I do not understand the logic. I do not understand how this can be justified. Ryback finally getting the Feed Me More gimmick over. Ryback finally coming to his own once again. And now this is exactly what happened when the WWE was building up Ryback. The fans were getting behind him. And then all of a sudden, the rug got pulled from underneath him. The thing about I, the thing about that is, this is, is I think this is going actually going to have something to a lead into Team Cena. I don't think that this is going to tear Ryback apart because I don't think this match is actually going to happen. Yes, it's being advertised. Yes, it's being confirmed. But on the night once it happens, I am sure Ryback and John Cena are going to see it their way. They're going to see it that the authority is trying to, you know, destroy them from within, from internally. I don't see this happening. Like I said, when I first heard this, when I first read about Ryback going against John Cena on Raw from, from England, I was like, what? This doesn't make sense. This doesn't add up. Why would you want to kill off Ryback again? Unless they're going to have Ryback defeat John Cena. Now, I heard that Ryback received a great ovation uh, at, a, at a recent event that they had that we did not see because, you know, they're out of the States right now. But Ryback has been receiving a great reaction ever since his comeback uh, on Monday Night Raw when he went against Bo Dallas and, and Heath Slater. Ryback has, building up, had been, has been building up some great momentum as of late. So I don't see why they would kill that off with Ryback. So like I said, this I think this has something to do with Survivor Series. I wouldn't hate and criticize it, criticize all over it all, you know, right now. Once again, I know it does seem a little bit odd that they would have Ryback go against John Cena seeing the, you know, who, what we've witnessed out of Ryback and the crowd getting really into him again. And if anything, they'll be cheering Ryback over John Cena. But once again, I just think that this is all going to be a plan that leads to Ryback being on Team Cena. But that's my take. Your comments, your opinions, subscribe.